Nestled in the picturesque Hampshire countryside of southern England lies Hinton Ampner, a stately home surrounded by lush gardens and rolling hills. At first glance, this 18th century manor seems like a charming and peaceful retreat. Yet beneath its serene exterior lies one of England's more obscure but genuinely disturbing hauntings. The eerie events that plagued the original house at Hinton Ampner throughout the 18th and 19th centuries are among the most unsettling in the annals of British hauntings, though they are seldom spoken about compared to more famous cases like the Tower of London or Borley Rectory. In this video, we will delve deep into the history of Hinton Ampner, recounting the bizarre spectral occurrences that tormented its inhabitants, examining the peculiar characters involved, and exploring the possible causes of the haunting. Hinton Ampner, situated near the village of Alsford, has been home to aristocratic families for centuries. The current building is a reconstruction from the mid-20th century, but the estate itself dates back much further with evidence of settlements from as early as the Saxon era. The original house, which stood on the same site, was built in the early 16th century and underwent numerous architectural changes over the centuries. During the late 18th century, Hinton Ampner became the site of inexplicable and terrifying occurrences. These hauntings occurred between 1765 and 1771, primarily affecting the Ricketts family who resided there during that period. The haunting was so severe that the original house was eventually abandoned and left to ruin, and much of the eerie history would have been lost to time had it not been for later accounts. In 1765, Mary Ricketts and her husband Edward Ricketts moved into Hinton Ampner with their children. Mary was a well-educated woman from an aristocratic family, and she took up the role of managing the household. Despite its grandeur, Hinton Ampner was already known locally for being eerie. Whispers of strange noises and unsettling occurrences had circulated for years, but the arrival of the Ricketts family would bring these rumors to the forefront. According to Mary's detailed accounts, one of the few surviving written testimonies of the haunting. Disturbing events began almost immediately after they settled in. At first, it was subtle, unexplained noises, footsteps in empty corridors, and an oppressive atmosphere that unsettled the servants. However, things quickly escalated. Loud banging sounds were heard throughout the night, often accompanied by the chilling sensation of an invisible presence standing near were watching the family members as they slept. One particularly unnerving incident involved Mary hearing heavy footsteps coming down the corridor outside her bedroom late one night. Believing it was her husband, she called out, only to be met with silence. When she checked, there was no one there, and her husband had been fast asleep in the room the entire time. The servants reported hearing similar phantom footsteps in other parts of the house, and some even refused to venture into certain rooms for fear of encountering whatever lurked there. Over the course of several months, the disturbances became more physical and aggressive. One night, while sitting in the drawing room, Mary felt an icy cold hand touch her shoulder only to turn and see nothing. On another occasion, a servant claimed to have seen a shadowy figure standing by his bed, causing him to flee the room in terror. What made the hauntings at Hinton Ampner particularly terrifying was the frequency with which they occurred. It was not just the occasional odd sound or sighting, but a constant barrage of activity. Furniture would move on its own. Objects would disappear only to reappear in strange places, and the family experienced disturbing visions of ghostly figures, often accompanied by feelings of dread and despair. Perhaps the most alarming event occurred when Mary Ricketts herself was physically attacked by an unseen force. While lying in bed one night, 
she felt the sheets being yanked violently off her. Startled and frightened, she tried to hold on to them, but the force was too strong and the sheets flew across the room. She later described the experience as feeling as though something malevolent was actively trying to harm her. The Ricketts family was not the first to experience strange phenomena at Hinton Ampner. Local lore suggested that the haunting might be linked to a former resident, a man named Richard Gervoise, who lived in the house during the early 18th century. Gervoise was a peculiar and reclusive figure, rumored to have dabbled in dark practices and possibly even involved in unsavory activities that angered the spirits of the house. According to some accounts, Gervoise was responsible for a grave injustice, possibly even a murder, which may have led to the disturbances that plagued the house after his death. Though no concrete evidence exists to confirm these rumors, they were widespread at the time and helped fuel the belief that Hinton Ampner was cursed. Adding to the mystery was the fact that a portrait of Gervoise, which hung in the house, was said to have exhibited strange behavior. Servants reported seeing the eyes in the painting following them as they walked past, and on more than one occasion. By 1771, after years of being terrorized by the increasingly violent hauntings, the Ricketts family decided they could no longer endure the torment. Mary Ricketts, in particular, had become physically and emotionally exhausted by the constant disturbances. In a last-ditch effort to rid the house of its restless spirits, the family consulted clergymen and spiritualists, but nothing seemed to work. The disturbances continued unabated. Mary eventually convinced her husband that the only solution was to leave the house altogether. In 1771, the Ricketts family packed their belongings and left Hinton Ampner, abandoning the house to the spirits that had made their lives unbearable. For decades, the house remained empty and fell into disrepair, its once grand halls and rooms now silent. The locals avoided the property, fearing that the dark presence within still lingered. Eventually, the original Hinton Ampner house was demolished and a new manor was built on the same site in 1790, although rumors of strange occurrences persisted well into the 19th century. What makes the haunting of Hinton Ampner particularly compelling is the fact that Mary Ricketts documented her experiences in a series of letters and memoirs providing a rare and valuable first-hand account of the haunting. Unlike many other ghost stories of the time, which were passed down through oral tradition or sensationalized by newspaper reports, the Hinton Amner haunting is recorded in the words of someone who lived through it. Mary's writings reveal her as a rational and level-headed woman who, despite her aristocratic background, did not shy away from acknowledging the strange and frightening events that occurred in her home. Her accounts are detailed and specific, and they provide a vivid picture of what life was like in a haunted house during the Georgian era. The haunting of Hinton Ampner has been the subject of much speculation over the years. Several theories have been proposed to explain the strange occurrences, ranging from the psychological to the supernatural. Psychological strain and social isolation. Some historians suggest that the hauntings may have been a result of psychological strain, particularly on Mary Ricketts. Life in a large, isolated country house could be lonely, especially for women of her time. The long, dark winters, coupled with the social expectations placed on women of her status, may have contributed to stress and anxiety which in turn could have manifested in the form of hallucinations and feelings of unease. Architectural oddities. Another theory posits that the strange noises and feelings of discomfort may have been caused by structural peculiarities in the old house. Creaking floorboards, drafts, and the natural settling of the building might have created an eerie atmosphere, 
which was then interpreted as supernatural activity. The supernatural explanation. For those who believe in ghosts and the paranormal, the most straightforward explanation is that Hinton Ampner was indeed haunted. The house's long history, combined with the mysterious figure of Richard Gervois and the possible wrongdoings associated with him, lends weight to the idea that the property was cursed or that restless spirits lingered. In the late 18th century, after the Ricketts had abandoned the property, the original Hinton Ampner house was demolished, and a new building was constructed on the site. This new house, completed in 1790, marked an attempt to leave behind the troubled past of the estate and to begin afresh. However, even though the physical structure changed, stories of strange occurrences continued to circulate. Servants in the new house still spoke of cold spots, inexplicable sounds, and even the occasional sighting of shadowy figures, though these reports were less frequent and seemed less severe than those experienced by the Ricketts family. Some suggest that whatever spirits had haunted the old house had not entirely left, but had instead become dormant, their energy diminished by the reconstruction. By the mid-20th century, when Ralph Dutton, the eighth baron of Sherborne owned the house, much of the focus had shifted to restoring the property to its former grandeur, rather than addressing its haunted history. Dutton rebuilt and renovated Hinton Ampner after a disastrous fire in 1960, and his efforts transformed it into the beautiful estate it is today, now under the care of the National Trust. Though Dutton was aware of the ghostly tales, he preferred to emphasize the estate's horticultural beauty rather than its haunted past. In modern times, Hinton Ampner has attracted the attention of paranormal enthusiasts, many of whom are eager to investigate whether any residual activity remains. The National Trust, while focusing largely on the historical and cultural aspects of the property, has acknowledged the estate's ghostly reputation. This acknowledgement has led to occasional ghost tours and paranormal investigations by teams looking to connect with whatever might still linger there. Those who visit today, whether they are gardeners admiring the stunning grounds or history buffs interested in the Georgian architecture, may find themselves wondering about the unseen history of the estate. Though the modern house at Hinton Ampner is a far cry from the eerie ruin that Mary Ricketts abandoned, a sense of mystery still permeates the property, particularly on misty mornings or quiet winter evenings when the house seems to hold its breath. Some visitors claim to have had strange experiences, such as sudden chills, a sense of being watched, or hearing distant, muffled footsteps echoing down the hallways. These reports are rare, but they serve to remind us that perhaps the past never truly leaves a place, especially one with such a turbulent history. The Haunting of Hinton Ampner is a tale that resonates not just because of its eerie elements, but because it encapsulates the human struggle to make sense of the unknown. Whether the strange occurrences were the result of environmental factors, psychological stress, or genuinely supernatural forces, the experiences of the Ricketts family highlight the vulnerability and resilience of those who find themselves faced with the unexplainable. Mary Ricketts' written testimony offers a poignant reminder that the haunting was not merely about ghostly apparitions or frightening noises. It was about a family trying to live their lives while grappling with something beyond their understanding. In documenting her experiences, Mary gave voice to her fears and left behind a legacy that continues to intrigue and unsettle those who hear it. Hinton Ampner's haunted history may not be as well known as that of more famous haunted locations, but it is a powerful story in its own right. It serves as a testament to the profound impact that a haunting, real or imagined, can have on individuals and families. It also underscores the ways in which places can absorb and reflect the lives of those who inhabit them, leaving behind echoes that ripple through time. Whether one believes in ghosts or not, the haunting of Hinton Ampner remains a compelling reminder of the mysteries that dwell at the edges of our reality, 
those uncharted realms where history, memory, and the supernatural intersect, leaving behind stories that captivate our imaginations and challenge our understanding of what lies beyond. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe.